Hi, it's me again, Dr. Magda Havas, and today we are going to learn how ground current affects farm animals, especially dairy cows. As you know, electricity can flow along the ground. This electricity is called ground current and refers to moving electrons. An animal, in contact with the ground, can have electricity flowing through its body. Let's visit a farm with a ground current problem. This cow is uncomfortable. She continuously lifts one foot and then the other. There is current flowing through her body and each time she lifts a foot she breaks the circuit. This cow is also lifting her front feet. She has swollen hocks and an open sore on her back right leg, that won't heal. Once a cow can no longer stand up, she is shipped. This cow has an open sore and swollen hocks like the other cows in the barn. How does ground current affect dairy cows? Let's ask Dr. Don Hillman. Dr. Hillman is Professor Emeritus at Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. He has done research with ground current for decades and is a leading authority. Don, can you tell us how ground current affects dairy cows? You have already mentioned some of the effects. Namely, hooves lifting, tail swishing, swollen hocks and open sores that won't heal. A list of effects can be seen in this chart. We can go through them one at a time. Before we do that, I noticed that you refer to ground current as stray voltage. Can you explain that? Yes. Stray voltage was the term that was used for many years. It is easier to measure voltage than to measure current. Technically they are not the same, but, some people, use them interchangeably. Single voltage was also commonly used, and today, some would like to refer to it as uncontrolled electricity. According to your chart, ground current affects milk production and quality, herd health, nutrition and water uptake, reproduction and behavior, which we already mentioned, that's going to take a bit of time, let's finish the discussion about behavior and leave the rest for another video. That sounds good. Under behavior, you mention reluctance to enter milking parlor, and extreme nervousness in milking parlor. Can you elaborate? If the floor in the milking parlor is at a different electrical potential than the floor in the barn, and it often is on a farm with a ground current problem, then electrons will flow through the cow's body and she will experience a shock. The amount of shock depends on the voltage difference between the two floors. Once she is in the milking parlor she should be fine, until they attach the milking machine to her udder. Once again she can receive a shock and the udders are very sensitive. How comfortable a cow is in the milking parlor will determine how quickly she lets down her milk. But we'll talk about that later. If she continues to get shocks, she may kick at the milker. You also mention reluctance to use water bowls or metallic feeders. As you know, metal is highly conductive. Electrons can flow between the metal and the cow, and she will receive a shock, and that shock can be quite painful. A cow that drinks less, will produce less milk. And finally, we have dancing cows. Dave Studzer has a video that demonstrates this terrible situation. This cow has electrodes placed on front and back legs. The voltage differential between the legs are monitored in the screen at the top of the video. Note that this video is at twice normal speed. Let's watch the video clip. This shows a cow's reaction after power to the farm had been completely disconnected. Based on the Minnesota study, it is apparent that this cow is experiencing severe discomfort. Don, this is terrible. Those animals must be highly stressed. Very hard on the farmers as well, but expect we will learn more about this in the next video. Join us next time and learn about ground current effects on cow health and productivity. See you soon. And thanks for watching.